to lift that Spider Tracks 4600 crown. There's our winners from earlier today. Brad and Roger Lovell, Seth Van Dyke and Levi Shirley leave the stage. Hey Jim. I got I got call a very special lady. I was I was at I called the race that uh, Brad Lovell won his very first pro Don't light worry, race. I've just, got, I've just got to push Brad and Roger Lovell off stage. I, w I called the race where Brad Lovell won his very first pro two race, and uh, here I am. Here we are for Brad's race win here, and his mom's not here right now. His mom was at his first two pro wins in pro light and pro two, and I want to call her out. I'm sure she's back home. I'm in Colorado uh, watching this on the live stream. So, okay, Chris in the line right now and taking the win in the spider tracks 4600 class is jesse hines so we've got a few people to get up on stage yet and then we'll get jesse up here we'll have a chat to him as levi shirley leaves the stage with his little man dawson i was just saying to him another couple of weeks and he will be taller than levi Before we get the next guys up though, let's get someone else. We got Jody Ford waiting in the wings. Let's get him on stage and find out how his day's been getting on. As we bring up another finisher of the four wheel parts every man challenge 2020. Hey Jody, how are we doing? Feels good to get fourth place. <laughs> Coming up on stage next, we got Sean Ratsty. And like all of these other drivers, he's got a story to tell. So let's get him on up here and have a chat. Hey, Sean, how we doing? Uh, it's a long day. Uh, we killed a tire in Guatemala? Somewhere around there. Killed a tire, got that fixed, came in, swapped out. And, um, all, the, all the family and friends, all the guys with Team Indiana that helped in the pits and, you know, people that just pitch, a, pitch in all the time and keep us on this crazy, stupid dream. Yeah, I got to put a big shout out to uh, Team Indiana and to Brandon Motorsports. Sponsors of this class is so good and uh, they do such a wonderful job for so many people. Yeah, they're, they're awesome people. So, <sighs> I'm ready for a beer. <laughs> well, Sean, I'm very pleased to tell you you are an official finisher at the Four Wheel Parts Everyman Challenge 2020. Congratulations, go party. Thank you. Sean Ratsky, everyone. coming up on stage I believe okay now joining us up on stage is someone who really doesn't need any introduction let's get him up here now it's rock crawling royalty it's Jesse Haynes but look what he's driving this isn't your average hammers car and the winner of our spider tracks 4600 class is Jesse Haynes Jesse how are you um I'm tired and sore now talk to us a little bit about this car. This is not your average Hammers car. No, it's definitely not. Um, there's not a lot of people that would start with a platform that's, uh, you know, a leaf sprung diesel rig. And we had the opportunity to do it last year and it's been fun. Um, we put a set of my portal axles under it and they've been awesome. I'm, I mean, out on the trails here, it's such a huge advantage and it was a big advantage at the Ultra Four Nationals too last year where we finished second. Um, and to be honest, we've done almost no maintenance on the axle since we built the car. And you know what? That makes it a lot more fun for me to not have to work on it. <laughs> 
Now, talk to us about this. I mean, we've just been chatting away to Matt Howell up here, and he's packing over 500 horsepower, etc., etc. How many horsepower does this thing sort of have? It's about 125 horsepower, um, and about 200, and I think it's about 250 foot pounds torque. Wow, that's not very much at all. That's barely enough to turn these 35s. Yeah, and well, another thing is with the portal axles, my my gear reduction the axles is 788 and our top speed uh, we've actually almost hit 60 once uh but not out here today i think our top speed was 57 58 something like that wow so how does it handle in the rough because i mean this thing is still running on cart springs uh, we've we've done a lot of work to tune it and we've done a lot of work with the leaf springs it's not you know it's not like we just got some lift kit springs or anything it's custom stuff and we've made a lot of modifications to it um we worked with uh, Radflow on shocks, and Phil Licardi did some tuning for us. And it, de I mean, we haven't put a lot of effort into tuning it, but uh, it was okay. You're doing okay. Now, this is a diesel rig. Most of these guys, they're coming into pit, hot pits. They're slamming 11 gallon cans at this th at their rigs, putting as much fuel in there as possible. What's your fuel consumption on this old girl? Well, I'd have to calculate it but our original fuel plan was to stop 64 miles into the race and top off and then uh you know another 30 miles i think we were going to top off again for the last time and we pulled back through pit one and i think we had just switched to the second tank it's got two eight gallon tanks and so uh we ended up going back out to lap uh pit one and fuel in there and it, right now i don't even know how this is possible right now we've only used a quarter tank since uh, since we left pit one. So this is eco racing at its finest. Yeah. Greta's gonna love you. <laughs> right, right. Uh, awfully efficient, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, as Ian points out to me, it's eco racing unless you buy your diesel in California. But uh, right, so this, is, uh, this car is absolutely incredible. You designed it for this race. Did you actually think you were ever gonna finish and did you ever believe that you could win? Well, we didn't even know we were winning. Well, we didn't even know we won today until I asked Dave. I knew we were doing well, but, um, it, well, the, uh, what's his name? John Schaefer. Um, he's fast, and I figured he would be right up there in the front, and he painted his car since I saw it last, and I, now that it, someone told me it was orange, uh, I realized we did pass him. Because I kept thinking, he's got to be ahead of us. We haven't seen him all day. Well, we saw you battling with John up in Chocolate Thunder. We saw you out with high lift jacks and all sorts of things, winch cables. What well, was happening out there? Well, we, you know, we came in there and there was a traffic jam. Well, it was really just one car stop and we had to decide, try and go to the right or to the left. and. Really, I think we made the, a better decision to go to the right, but we ended up rolling as we were trying to get past his car. And we pulled the high lift jack out and stuck it under the cage on this side and we jacked it up to the point where we could... I, I asked uh, the other stock class guy that was stuck, I told him, I said, hey, help me flip this thing over. It's gonna be the fastest way you get out of here. And so he helped and uh, the two of us Oh, uh, I've just got a cut in here. So you flipped your car on purpose so that you could get it over the rocks? No, we uh, we rolled over onto his rig and then we used the high lift and uh, jacked it up and pushed it back onto it. Oh, okay. Now I'm with you. Great. That sounded even worse about first. <laughs> and yeah, no. It, uh, I think it actually, we got it out of there fairly quick it felt like you know when you're in a situation like that it feels like you're there for a long time well to be fair you're in good company with josh atterbury out there and he had a roof tent so i was you know we weren't too concerned we knew you could stay there for the night if you needed to well you know what else happened while we were there is uh what's the guy that won last year josh, justin reese yeah justin reese he came up and he tried the left line to get around the guy and he ended up rolling. And so uh, by the time we got out of there, both of those guys still needed to get recovered. So it ended up working out for us. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's have a quick word with your code dog there. How are we doing? Good, so uh, It looks like you've been working very hard today. Uh, not too bad. You know, really just had to get in the car a couple times. Um, quick winches and he's a good driver, so it makes so were you sitting there every time you got stuck going, come on, man, you're supposed to be a driving genius. 
Pretty much. That's why I took the seat. Now, how different? All right, guys. Well, hey, Jesse, great job today out on the trail. No question in my mind, you definitely deserve this, being the rock crawling legend that you are. Great to have you here up on the podium for the stock class. Congratulations, Jesse. We'll see you next time.